home Bitcoin mining is getting crazier and crazier, and I absolutely love it. Today, we're checking out the brand new Bidax Wildcatter from the team over at ACS. All right, what do we have here? So we have ACS and BM1368. So huge shout out to the team over at ACS for sending this over to us today for today's review. So let's go ahead and open this up here. I have been loving the fact of getting my hands more and more on these solo Bitcoin miners. They're fun to tinker with as a home miner, low watt, and the, really the price points are not gonna break the bank. So first thing we have here, ACS Binax hash rate report. I always love to see these, goes ahead and actually shows a QA process. I would love to see this from a lot of other manufacturers out there in the industry. Put that aside. So here is our Bidax Wildcat. Now this is the 1368 model. That is the chip directly on the board that you cannot see. And this looks totally different, right? So at first you're like, all right, I see a traditional Bidax, right? You can kind of see the name kind of sneaking up there. We have a screen like you traditionally would, and we have our power outlet there. But what makes this very different, and I'm actually excited for, is I have so many Binax models that overheat that I've constantly have issues with, and I'm thrilled to see. And I, I put them out in my shed, so it does get a little bit warmer, but nothing over the top. And this is crazy, so check this out. So we have a heat sink actually inside here, and this is actually pretty big. This is not your stock size heat sink. But, and then look at this, you got the Texas logo because that's where ACS is located, right there out of Texas. But then look at this, we have a fan directly on the bottom and there's feet here. So this is actually gonna sit just like this uh, is the way that's gonna look. So the intakes on the bottom, it's gonna, and it's gonna push through this channel that they've 3D printed here, which is actually kind of slick. And look, they actually have a re reset and a boot button here on the left. So they're pushing it directly through here and through this larger heat sink. And on top of that, when we turn this around, take a look, we have another heat sink right here that values from this fan. You see this fan on the bottom? The fan is actually pushing through both side on both sides of the board. So on the front side and on the back side here with the additional heat sink. So we should get a significantly better cooling with this model and the way this is designed. Now we also do have a power supply uh, adapter in here. And look at that, it even has ACS Bidax Touch on the back. All right, there we go, that just clicks in and we're ready to go. All right, let me get this plugged in. All right, so Bidax models are insanely easy to set up. We've gone ahead and plugged it in. We actually plugged it into our meter box watt meter here. We'll take a look at the watts once we have it set up. And this is it simple and easy, and it actually is giving off an SSID. And I'm gonna try to get a little closer here. Can we focus? We're trying. It says Bitax. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to the Bitax wireless. Once you're connected to it with your cell phone, then go ahead and go to the website address 192.168.4.1, and that's gonna allow us to go ahead and configure this. I always recommend the first thing to configure when you bring up that web page go down to the wireless and connect it to your home wireless. Once that's done, you can jump over to the computer and join me over there. All right, so here we are. Went ahead, got it connected to our home wireless. It shows you the IP address on the screen of the device, which is this one right here, 192.168.86.138. So here we are. You can see that this model has ACS's firmware on it, which is pretty sweet actually looking. Nice little change of pace here. You can see the model top right, as we expected, BM1368. Now, I just got this thing up and mining just a few minutes ago. So let's go ahead and run through it quite a bit. So on the left-hand side, you have miners. It shows the other miners on the network. Pool is where you can put in your primary and your failover address, which is always a good idea. Analytics will give you more data on the unit. Now, granted, we're only less than five minutes in, so we're not gonna have a lot of data to work with here, but we do have an overview, a power tab, a thermals tab, and a system tab as well, which is great for troubleshooting. We have a full logs tab with all the different categories there. Wi-Fi, where you can set your Wi-Fi settings. Under settings here, now this is different. We have quiet mode, balance mode, and turbo mode. I love that name. Let's actually 
Let's just go with the highest, right? Come on now. We always want the most. So we'll select turbo mode here. That's kind of nice that you have these different options. Turbo mode, I can actually now hear behind me that fan. When it was on balance mode, I, I couldn't hear it at all. So if you guys are looking for like something that you can run anywhere, especially like if you got a desk at work or something, you want to put one of these on. You don't want anyone to notice with quiet mode. You know, that's definitely a good avenue. But honestly, balance mode, super quiet as well. Didn't hear it or anything. Under updates, you can update and get firmware updates within here. So I did before go ahead and clicking record, did update uh, both sides of this, the firmware and actually the web app version. All right, so let's go ahead here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit on this mode of turbo mode. Uh, and we're going to let this run for a little bit and we'll come back and see what our hash rate is as well as watts at the actual wall. Now, jumping ahead here a little bit, this is the ACS Bitax Gamma Wildcatter Edition is what they're calling it here, which is actually pretty sweet. It's a pretty slick looking design uh, that you guys do see here. It only is 120 bucks, which is like nothing, right? Like that's, I feel like that's super, super cheap, especially to jump into solo Bitcoin mining. This may be... Maybe one for you to buy first uh, if you're just stepping into this space as well. Now, taking a look at specs here, we have two different models, the Supra and the Gamma. The unit we're looking at today is the Supra. That runs off of the um, Bitcoin or the Bitmain chips 1368. The Gamma ones run off of 1370. The Gamma model is not released yet. So this is saying on the Supra level, we should be at 700 giga hash. That fan speed 1800, fan percent at 35%. Uh, the power use, everything's going to come in at 15 watts, which is absolutely nothing. I love to see that. I'll be eager to see what we get now that we have this thing cranked up to turbo mode. Now, jumping on, if we're talking about 700 giga hash at 15 watts, let's go ahead and take a look here. So we are over on sololuck.com. I'll link this directly down below. And, you know, let's go ahead and be realistic and look at what are the chances of us hitting a Bitcoin block. This is a solo Bitcoin miner. It earns nothing per day, but it's like buying a lottery ticket once, which is what that would be for $120. And then you never have to buy it again. And you're playing the Bitcoin lottery, pretty much you're solo mining. And a Bitcoin block, a lottery ticket is pulled every 10 minutes. So keep that in mind. You invest $120 and now you have that lottery ticket until this unit dies entirely. So at 700 giga hash, which is not very high, um, you can see here that per year we have a chance of one in 26,904, and per day, one in 9,819,920. So, pretty much barely have a chance, but there is a chance of hitting a Bitcoin block, which right now, if you hit it, would be worth 348,259. I hit that Bitcoin block, I think I'd pay off my house right there. That would be absolutely insane. So on the flip side, if you're like, oh, I want to pull mine. I want to earn something every single day with this. And the, 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 you're, I'm just telling you right now, you're, you're going to come in at about three cents is what you're going to come in at. If we put this out here, that's my guess. So let's do 0 0.700, I think is where we're at there for a terahash. Yeah. Um, and we're at 15 watts. And let's say we're at 10 cents there. Calculate. Yes, you would absolutely earn nothing is where this comes out. I think I have that actually right. Yeah. Um, our revenue, you would earn four cents. It would cost you four cents to run every day. You would make zero. <laughs> absolutely wild to see. So that this is not something you're going to pull mine with, guys. Honestly, it's not worth it. Like for four cents a day, totally consider going with the avenue of solo mining. All right, so we did one more reboot here and that kind of cleared everything up, which is awesome. So taking a look at settings, it actually shows you now currently using turbo mode. So no more search around for that. You can see we're on that currently right now. So when we take a look at the dashboard, we're over a terahash right now and we're just shy of 30 watts total. So it's definitely going to crank this up to kind of pretty much overclock this quite a bit to go ahead and give us that additional hash rate, which is great. If you're looking more for that 700 giga hash at the 15 watts, then take it down to balance mode. We'll go ahead and hit save settings. We'll let this run for a few minutes. All right, so down at the mode of balance mode, we're at actually about 0.8, so about 800 giga hash here. And we're coming in at 
what is this about 18 watts now man i can only imagine what quiet mode's going to be let's try that one out real quick all right last mode here we're at 600 giga hash man it's so low but we're on, we're almost at only 10 watts total so this is actually pretty cool to have a device that's so versatile and have these options but come on now we're, we're putting this thing up to turbo mode and off we go all right so wrapping things up here if you guys are interested in getting this solo bitcoin miner from the team over at acs i'll leave a link directly down below comes in at 120 bucks but guess what they gave me a discount code huge shout out to acs put in hobbyist when you check out look at this you ready a hundred bucks, hundred bucks for this thing. Highly recommend it. If you're just stepping into the crypto mining space, you want to test the waters a little bit with solo mining, hundred bucks, well worth the risk. Huge shout out to the team over at ACS for sending us over the Bitax Wildcatter. Guys, check out all the links directly down below if you're interested in learning more about this home solo Bitcoin miner.